Hey, I'm back. This is Chandler for Melda Production, and today I'm going to show you a new feature that came in M Sound Factory about a week or two ago. So it's actually an analog feature that will add some kind of like analog drift and uh, other like kind of randomized effects to your uh, sounds quickly and easily. So before I do that, I'll just kind of show you what I have here. I have a saw wave, I have a square wave, an octave down, I'm mixing them together, and then they're going into a filter that's controlled by an envelope. And it sounds like this. Okay, just basic stuff, right? Okay. So from here, if we look in the globals, you see the right here, this new analog panel. And to demonstrate what it does, I'll first play it without it on, just normally, uh, playing this chord progression, and then I'll turn it on. Okay, and now with it on. Okay, so you see here that it has some different, uh, like almost like a softer sound, and you can hear like some voices moving in between it. To me, this sounds a lot better, and so you can really hear it, uh, I'll play it one more time, just quickly, off, on, okay, now you're probably wondering what does it do, and you look here under attack, hold, decay, when it's off, see everything's white, but when you turn it on, they turn green, you're thinking, okay, what's happening, but if we look here in attack, now you see this analog drift, and what it's going to do is it's going to kind of randomize this slightly. So you see here under analog it has depth, and this is like a, the depth of a random LFO, and this is the speed of a random LFO. So it will do this, and it not only randomizes these uh, parameters like in general, but it also randomizes them per voice. So if you're playing, let's say, a C, E, and G, the G might be going up to like five cents and the E might be going down to three cents or something like that. And so each note will kind of have a different random modulator on it. On top of that, if you have two oscillators here, each one of these will be moving randomly also. So first we have the initial phase. So here it's zero, it's synced. But if you look, this is green here and it's on analog drift 100%. And at 100% it is random phase. So, by just clicking this one button, it's changing it from a uh, synced to random phase. And so that's really useful, but also here in the sense, this has like 20% uh, analog drift, so it's going to move the sense up and down over time uh, using a random LFO, which is cool, and also, like I said, it's per voice. The filter, it also has a uh, frequency is controlled by this, so the envelope amount will be controlled uh, by the analog function, and also the resonance will be controlled by that. And so one of the great things is, it seems like, okay, you just set these all up beforehand, but no, I didn't. Whenever you hit analog, all these just turn on automatically as the defaults. But let's say, hey, I don't want that. You can just go in here and just turn this off. You see, like, oh, it's off. But if you right click it, it turns to the default. And the same thing here. So if you think like, hey, I don't want this one to be uh, you know, drifting, you can just do that and turn it off. And you think, oh, okay, well, I'm done. No more analog drift. So that's a way you can do that uh, fairly easily. And because it's automatic, it saves you lots of time. Before, it would be like, you know, seven parameters I have to go in and randomly add, uh, or not randomly, I have to manually add modulators to. But now it's just one button turns everything on so you can quickly test to see like do I prefer this with like that analog randomness on or off and it only takes about a second uh, another thing I should say uh, messing with the depth 10% I think is good it sounds like this if you turn it up more like this it's a bit too much so this is 83% That's really out of tune. I, I don't like that. But of course you might, you know, maybe for a special effect. And the same thing with the speed. If I turn this way up, it's not good either. Mm -hmm. 
So you can easily hear it moving, but to me, like that's way too much. But the good thing is it has this, so even if you don't use it, you might think, ah, 10% is a little bit too little, so I might move it up to 15% or 20%, or you think, oh, it's a little bit too much, let me move it down to like 7%. And the same thing with the speed. So there's lots of uh, control, control right there. Uh, the other thing is you could actually use this with other oscillators besides just the uh, normal oscillators and uh, filters. Let's try with the FM. So here we have just an FM oscillator. It's like a normal FM pad. So let you hear it like this. But if we turn the analog on, So now we're hearing some movement, which to me is cool, but actually one of the things I like to hear is a little bit of width, so I can just go into here with the width, move it up like this, not too much, there. Now with it off, it sounds like this. So just with that, the width, it sounds a little bit better, but now when I add the analog in, That gives me a real swirling sound, although that's a little bit too much. Maybe I need to move it down from 18. Maybe 15 is better. But of course, you can choose this and do it however you want. But there's a lots of different oscillators and things to play with. And you can, of course, control these manually. But the best thing for me is it's set up automatically to just turn it on and work. And from there, if you think, I like this, then you can go and fine tune it. Or you're like, eh, it doesn't really work with the sound. Just turn it off. And you don't have to go through a bunch of uh, removing modulations and other things. So it's really nice. It sounds good. It's convenient. Just a great feature. But anyways, if you enjoyed this, give me a thumbs up. If you have a question about it, leave me a comment down below. Subscribe if you haven't done that. And check out all the other plugins at melterproduction.com. Until next time, see you.